Hello everybody and welcome to my second Gorilla Type Fan Game tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how to make your screen get reddish when you get near a uh, horror AI like this. So let me remove the volume from this real quick. Alright so first of all you should add, just wait one second. Okay, thank you. You need to uh, have you. You need URP for this, and you add a volume to your um, horror AI, and make sure it's local. Cause if it's global, it'll happen wherever you are. So like, if you have it on global, it probably won't work, and it'll be really annoying walking around the map with a red screen. Uh, so make sure it's on local. Make the blend distance, I'd recommend three decimals, or three, sorry, my mathematics is getting into me. My, th uh, make the blend distance three decimal seven five, and, uh, I don't know, I don't think this matters, just put it up. Uh, I already have a volume profile for this. Um, I can just show you everything. It's, yeah, horror profile. I think, I think, yeah, no, it's the yellow profile. Okay, let me disable all of these real quick. Ew, this looks horrible. Wait, what I click on? Uh, so, first of all, you want to, uh, I, I know I already have this, but go to add override post processing and find film grain and then uh, add it, and then turn it on all, and then make the type custom, and search for a static texture off of Google. Or I could put this one in the description for, for you to download. And uh, what I've done is I've changed the max size to 256, because it looks like really good for this. And it's more staticky than just like as you can see if I put it on large O2, it barely you can barely see it. But if you put it on the texture, it looks really well. And then add override post processing and find Vingente, however you pronounce that stupid monkey. Turn on all, make the color a like a tint of red. Or fully red, whichever one you prefer. You, if you prefer this, do this. But if you prefer like a more tinted red, uh, just do that. I'll make mine fully red, even though before it was all fainted red. And make the and put the intensity all the way up and the smoothness all the way up. And make sure it's unrounded, because if it's wait no, yeah, if it's not unrounded, it'll kind of look bad and look like this. And make sure the center is actually good, because you don't want the center being over here. So. I recommend the center being 0 0.5 0 0.5. This is a longer tutorial than the last one, as you can see, because um, there's more to it than just, oh yeah, blah, 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 add one thing. And then add override post-processing and color adjustments. Uh, turn it on all. Uh, Post-exposure. I think I'm going to turn that. So I'm not going to turn that down. What I have it to just then? Uh, 3.34. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to change this to a bit less aggressive tint. Because I'm going to turn down the intensity of the Vengent. Actually, what? How would I look good without this? Oh, yeah. You, okay. Quick disclaimer. The Vengent. I don't know how to pronounce it. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, Vignetti. Whatever. V Vignetti. I don't know how to pronounce that. Just tell me in the comments. Uh, you don't need that at all. Go into co add a color adjustments and just pause the video to see my uh, settings. The reason why my contrast is so low or so like decently high, because if it's too low, your whole screen just becomes static. Let me clear those. Your whole screen becomes static and you can't see at all. Which is a pain. So I'd recommend negative 45. I'm going to 
tone down the intensity of this. So, uh, for the film grain, I'd recommend the intensity being like 0 0.5. Let's see, how does 0 0.5 look? Yeah, 0 0.5 is perfect. Uh, I'd recommend it being that. I don't know, if you want, you don't need any other red color. But, uh, yeah, that was it for this tutorial. Uh, make sure you have post-processing, because if you disable it, it, when you get close, it just won't work. So, make sure you have this toggled. And if it still doesn't work, make sure when you go here, post-processing is, like, like checked there. Um, more tutorials coming soon, once I think of some. Like, how to make a good goodish horror map, and how to make... And how to, like, add special cosmetics. Or morphs. I'll, I, I could 100% put a tutorial for morphs. Why did those get disabled? Oh, whatever. O only the screen running get disabled. Oh, uh, whatever. And I might... I could make a tutorial on how to make, like, a plushie like this. Except it doesn't ragdoll like Seabus. Or just how to add cosmetics to your Google Type fan game. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to, if you want, you can like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And, uh, oh, and I could do how to make custom faces for your monkeys. Like, like this, or like an angry face. I know this is bad gore. Don't come at me for saying, uh, pause! Don't get mad at me for having the worst gore in my girl attack fan game. Or I could tell you how to add good lighting to your girl attack fan game, like baked lighting, which looks way better. And uh, that's all for this girl attack fan game tutorial. If you want, like and subscribe, even though I've already said that. And uh, have a good day or night or afternoon. And uh, goodbye.